Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Le Christ est ressuscité des morts, par sa mort il a vaincu la mort. À ceux qui sont dans les tombeaux, il a donné la vie. Christos a enviat in monstrum muerta, pre muerte quelqu'un, si celor din morminte via se deruindu. After the Sabbath, as it began to dawn on the first day of the week, Sunday. Behold, there was a great earthquake. For an angel of the Lord descended from the sky, and came and rolled away the stone, and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guard shook, and became like dead men. Mary Magdalene came early, while it was yet dark, to the tomb, and saw the stone taken away from the tomb. She ran therefore, and came to Simon Peter, and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved. Peter therefore went forth, and the other disciple, and they went toward the tomb. Stooping and looking in, they saw the strips of linen lying by themselves, and the cloth that was on his head, not lying with the linen cloths, but rolled up in a place by itself. And they departed to their home, wondering what had happened. But Mary Magdalene stood outside the tomb, crying. She was still weeping, when she stooped down and saw two angels inside. The angels asked Mary, Why are you crying? They have taken away my Lord's body. I don't know where they have put him. She turned around, and saw Jesus standing there, but she didn't know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you crying? Who are you looking for? She thought he was the gardener and said, Sir, if you have taken his body away, please tell me so I can go and get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him, Teacher. Jesus said to her, Don't touch me, for I haven't yet ascended to my father. But go to my brothers, and tell them, I am ascending to my father and your father, and my God and your God. The women who were bearing myrrh came to the tomb, bringing the sweet-smelling spices and ointments which they had prepared, they were saying among themselves, Who will roll away the stone from the entrance of the tomb for us? But when they looked, they saw that the stone had already been rolled away. They saw an angel sitting on the right side, and they were afraid. And he said to them, Do not be afraid. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen, he is not here. See the place where they laid him. Now go, and tell his disciples that he will go ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. See, I have told you. As they hurried from the tomb and ran to tell his disciples, suddenly Jesus met them, and greeted them. They went near him, held on to his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said, Don't be afraid. Tell my brothers to go to Galilee they will see me there. While the women were on their way, some soldiers who had been guarding the tomb went into the city. They told the chief priests everything that had happened. So the chief priests met with the leaders, and decided to bribe the soldiers with a lot of money. They said to the soldiers, Tell everyone that Jesus' disciples came, during the night and stole his body, while you were asleep. If the governor hears about this, we will talk to him. You won't have anything to worry about. The soldiers took the money and did what they were told. 
the people of Judea still tell each other this story. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I am sending you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, they will be forgiven. But if you don't forgive their sins, they will not be forgiven. And behold, I am with you always, to the end of the age. Amen.